Hello, YouTube. This is Dr. Mark Haverkorn of River City Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery in San Antonio, Texas. Today we have a video of an infratemporal space abscess. Now, I know most of you are just here for the pus, so I'll give you a quick taste of what's to come. I found this skull in the doctor's lounge at the hospital. The infratemporal space is behind the cheekbone. Here you can see my pen passing from the mouth into the infratemporal space. Here's another view. Our patient's infection is on the left side. I will open his mouth and access the infection through an incision in the left cheek. Here's a sideways view of the skull, which is the way that we'll be looking at the patient. And here's the approach that I took. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a culture first. Uh, One-handed? Yeah. You can do it. Okay. And then we'll just make sure that we got everything broken up. Oh yeah, see? More. You never know. You never know. Got one of our emergency medicine residents in the room. We already discussed the Stenson's duct over here. Otherwise, not a whole lot you have to worry about. All right, let's see. Can I get your irrigation? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Go ahead. And we'll do the pen rows and be done. Okay. Can you grab that one? Okay. Excellent. Go ahead and put the yank hour on there for me, please. Alrighty. That's fine. No worries. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's just kind of triple check that there's nothing missing here. Let me see that um, tonsil stat one more time, please. Gracias. On one of the other videos in my office, the staff made the mistake of yawning, and I like replayed that in slow mo multiple times through the video. And so now they're definitely afraid to talk when I'm filming. Oh, there's see, look, more pus. This is why we why we explore a little bit. Only thing worse than doing this once is doing it twice. Okay. Can you just suction a little bit while I'm here getting here? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Just uh, yeah, go all the way down into the yeah. So. <laughs> all right. That's good. Let's suction this. Give that back to you for a second. Okay. Look good here. Look good here. Look good here. There wasn't much in fear really on the scan. Okay. All right, I'll take a pen rose. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is a different pen rose. That's a pen rose? That's a they gave me. Do we have... Hmm. Is that what those are? I haven't seen one of these. Ah, oh, look at you. <laughs> look at the big brain on you. I'm like, is that okay? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just showing my ignorance for the world. What the heck is this? All right, I'm going to have a suture, please. Yeah, I use the latex, like the tan-colored ones yeah. in the office. Yeah, okay. I hear that they're 100% latex-free here. Okay. Oh, no, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to complain. We'll lose our view here for a second. I thought you were handing me a suction tube for a second. I was like, no. <laughs> Why are you handing me a suction tube? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fine. It's just I'm not used to the latex-free ones. Stitch or suture on it? Yep. Scissor? <laughs> I'll get it here in a minute. Okay, we'll sneak back in here. We don't usually use quite such a large retractor, but for filming purposes, we will. 
And I'm gonna cut this one off and I'm gonna put another one in a slightly different position and then we're done. Yes, please. appropriate size. Do you want to use this one first or do you want me to wait for the other one? Um, I'll use it. That's fine. Okay. Can I get the tonsil stat again? Yeah. Well, actually, the other one's ready. So. Okay. okay. Do a little suction in there. Irrigation. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to do it, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, I'm just going to irrigate it one more time. Yeah, sorry. Change them on. I'm gonna see if I can get in here though and just shoot a little bit up in the fishing. Maybe sort of. Okay. There we go. Alright, there we go. It's the drainage of a, kind of a somewhat superficial infratemporal space abscess.